Today we're going to have a grammar class um, and it's going to be an introduction class. So if you're starting English, this will be great for you guys. Um, and we're going to start with just um, a simple subject of nouns and making them plural. And once we understand that, we'll move on to more um, difficult grammar issues. And I have a few quizzes for us to do. Um, <clears throat> during the lesson. So I see we have only a few students. So if you guys want to join class, um, it is an introduction class. Okay. Um, so I'll get started now. So welcome. Who do we have? Arno and Mary. All right. Hi. How are All you? Right. Sir? Good. How are you? Oh, fine. I'm, I'm glad to start to learn English with you. All right. Um, do we have any new students to class? Anyone that this is their first class on Verbling? This is, this is my second class. Second class. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, you speak very well for this, for this uh, being your second class. Um, sorry if this is a little easy for people, um, but it is a good review, even for me, <laughs> and I'm a native speaker. Hi. Hello. Welcome to class. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll just give people a few more minutes um, to filter in, um, and we'll start class in maybe a minute or two. Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay, good. So, does anyone here think English grammar is pretty difficult at all? So, do you think English grammar is difficult? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And I see we have ten viewers. I think there's one more spot in class. All right. There we go. Okay. Um, so we're going to uh, start class. And we're going to start um, with nouns. Um, so can anyone tell me uh, what is a noun? So what is a noun? Can you give me a definition at all? So. Uh, what about Sergio Silva? Do you know what a noun is? Noun is like my name is, is a noun. Okay, so a noun is a person. Okay. Sorry, this happens. Just warning you. I may go out again, but I should be able to stay in class. All right. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, so a noun can be a person. What else can a noun be? Sorry. Okay, so just so we get the ball rolling, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Um, or idea. Okay, um, and so we're going to take a look at a few of these nouns. All right, um, so the first ones we're going to start with are bottle, cup. Take a look. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to mute you since there's a lot of background noise. Um, but if you want to speak, just unmute your mic. Okay. Um, so the nouns we're going to start with are bottle, cup. Um, but if you want to speak, just unmute your mic. Okay. Um, so the nouns we're going to start with are bottle, cup. Um, but if you want to speak, just 
Um, so I made a list for us, and we're going to start with bottle, cup, pencil, desk, sticker, and window. Um, and so my question for you is, how do we make uh, these nouns plural? What is the rule? Uh, we, we can uh, make a uh, final S. Mm -hmm. Or ES depends on the noun. Yeah. So for these words. Sorry, Judith. I'm just going to mute you. But you can click that button on the top of your screen and unmute yourself uh, when I ask questions. So when you want to respond, um, just so I can hear uh, everyone in class. All right. So cups, pencils, desks, stickers, windows. Does everyone understand? Is there anyone that doesn't understand how we make these nouns plural? Okay, good. Um, and so, I forget who it was. I'm sorry. Um, um, they also said we can add ES. So if we have the nouns box, watch, moss, and bus, to make them plural, we have to add ES. Yes. So it would become boxes, watches, bosses, and buses, all right? And that's because um, they're ending in a sound uh, similar to S. So they're ending with a CH, an X, or an S. So we need to add that extra syllable um, so that we can hear that they're plural. Does that make sense? So box sounds uh, plural already. So if we just had boxes, boxes, it would just be box, you know, it would sound the same. So with the extra ES, we hear boxes, boxes, okay? All right. Uh, what about nouns ending in F or FE? So what about um, these nouns? And I'm going to list them for us. Uh, wolf, wife, life, and leaf. OK. So how do we make these nouns plural? Wolf, wife, life, leaf. Anyone have any ideas? Yeah, we can life. have the uh, uh, life is uh, wolf is uh, v e s. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, words that end with f or f e, we change the f to a v. Yes. So yeah, change the f to v, and add e s. All right. So what would wolf become? <laughs> So can anyone um, tell, say uh, the words for us in the plural? So wolves, for example, can anyone start with the second word? What would it become? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's the word? Uh, they're listed in chat. So we have wolf, wife, life, leaf. How would they become plural? Yep. Yes. So we have wolves, wives, lives. So what about the last one? We have leaves. So just changing that F to a V and adding ES. All right. <coughs> um, and so then, of course, because, you know, it's English and nothing is regular, there are no set rules. Um, Okay. We also have some um, exceptions to the rule. <clears throat> Baby. And I'm going to write these down for us. Um, and also let me know if you have problems staying in class, um, if burbling kicks you out, so I can let um, the creators know. Okay. Potato, memo, and stereo. 
Okay, so we're going to work with these words now, which is baby, kidney, toy, potato, memo, stereo. And just again, how do we make these nouns um, plural? So there is one rule that we're going to learn from these examples, but the rest are a little uh, irregular. They don't have definite rules. Mm. Yeah, so the first one is babies. Um, so for words that end in Y, <clears throat> most of the time, you have to be careful. So most of the time, uh, we change the Y uh, to I-E-S. Yep. Okay? Uh, but what, what happens with the next word, toy? Does that happen? No. Yeah, so it's irregular, and it becomes toys, and we add the S instead of I-E-S. And does anyone know why? Because uh, before the, the final uh, way, why, uh, in baby, we have a consonant. And mm -hmm. in toy, we have a fuel. Yeah, so that will definitely help you. Okay, so um, for the word baby, B is a consonant, and it comes before Y. So we have B-A-B -B as the, I guess, not the root, but the beginning of the word. So we can add I-E-S at the end instead of the Y. But for toy, all we have is T-O. So we have to keep the Y and just add an S to make it plural. And so hopefully that's clearer. And then um, one of the students has been posting. Um, so potatoes, we add an ES. There's no rule for that. It just happens. Um, memo. What about memo and stereo? Yeah, so for this, we just add an S. Yeah. There's no, um, we don't have to add an ES, right? so to make it plural. All right. Um, and then there's a few words, um, and I'll just give you an example. Um, so these words are the same in the, the plural and in the singular form. So we have sheep, deer, series, and species. All right. So they are the same. Oh in a singular and plural form. All right. Does anyone have any questions about making nouns uh, plural? Is this okay? Mm. Okay. Uh, so, um, sorry, sorry, Laura. And the pronunciation is the same for the singular the and the plural? Mm -hmm. So ah. sheep, sheep, deer, deer, series, series, species, species. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you have to listen to the entire sentence or the entire paragraph um, to know if it's plural or singular. All right. So now I have a little quiz for us um, just to work on some basics. All right. <clears throat> and so the first question is um, child All right. So Sorry, it just takes me a second because I'm typing them. Um, so I have three. Is it child or children? What do you think? Children, because it's plural. Okay, so I have three children. Yeah, because the number we have is three, which is yeah. more than one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Actually, I think I'm just going to copy and paste all of them here. Um, and we'll work with them from there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so number two. Um, so, let's see. Alezu, you've okay. participated a lot. So I'm going to see if I can get uh, another student uh, to answer the question. So maybe uh, Judith. Number two. There are five men or men and one woman or woman. What do you say? What do you think is the answer? So Judith or anyone else in class? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so 
There are five men. Yeah. So and men is and plural. one woman. Mhm. Mm and woman is singular. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about Jose Asensio for number three? Baby, baby. play. Baby play with bottles of toys. Is it the first one or the second one? Baby or babies? Baby. Okay. Uh, so it's actually um babies. Um, so babies play with bottles as toys. Um, does anyone know why it's the plural form? How do we know from the rest of the sentence to help? Um, I forgot who I called on <laughs> to help them out. Okay. Um, so the verb tells us as well. So uh, to conjugate, I to conjugate play. It's I play. Uh, he plays, uh, she, uh, they play, we play, they play. Um, so if it was singular, it would be uh, baby, baby plays with bottles as toys. Okay, it's a little, the sentence little, is a little weird. So babies play with bottles as toys. Okay, and also we can tell because the one of the nouns or two of the nouns um, are plural. Bottles as toys are plural. Mm. All right. What about number four? I put two big potato or potatoes in the lunchbox. Potatoes. Yeah, and how do we know that it's potatoes? And not. How do we know it's the plural form? Yes. So we have a number that says two. So anytime you see a number that's more than one, it's two. Okay. So a few men wear watch or watches. Watches. Okay, so a few men wear watches, and that's because we have more than one man. We have a few men. So we have, um, usually few refers to uh, three or more. I'm going to write that down. Is watches because the termination is uh, age, no? Sorry, can you repeat your okay. question? Uh, the question, the which is watches because the termination is in... C H. Yep. H. Yeah. So we pronounce it watches because we need that extra e, e, um, e s uh, added. So um, if we just had wa w a t c h s, it'd be watch. You know. Um, so the pronunciation would be no different than the singular form. So ES, we get watches. So we know it's plural. Okay? Good. It's possible to find a few men wear watch. For example, uh, uh, me and you wear watch. It's possible. We wear um, a watch. A watch. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you give, um, if you give it a definite article, you can not use the plural form. And a definite article is a or an or the. But in this case, uh, you and I, um, I think was your example, you and I wear a watch. Mm, and then okay. we'd have to add every day or once a week or something. So, or for class, something like that to tell us when we wear the watch. Is that okay? Okay. Without uh, okay. A a articles, we don't uh, we don't use uh, the, the singular form without articles. Yeah. So with okay. the article, you can use the singular form in that example. Yeah. Um. So I put a memo or memos on the desk. I put a memo. Yeah, and we just talked about that. So the definite article. So we're using the singular form. Okay. So I saw a mouse or mice running by. I saw oh. a mouse. 
Mm -hmm. And mouse is the singular form, and we can use it because we have that definite article of a mouse. Yeah. And there are a few bus or buses on the road today. Buses. Yeah. So a few. So we have more than one bus. So it has to be plural. Good. All right. So I'm just going to go back. Um, and so this class, we're just going to work on nouns. But this time, uh, we're going to take a look at count nouns versus non-count nouns. So I'll write this down. Count nouns uh, versus non-count nouns. All right. <clears throat> OK. Um, so can anyone tell me? We're just going to start with count nouns. So uh, can you give me a definition for a count noun? For a count noun. A count noun is an um, object uh, that we can... Uh, we have the possible to count. Uh, for example, two or three bottles, two or three watches, uh, etc. Yeah, exactly. So I have a list here um, that I'm going to post. And these are the words we're going to be working with through all of the examples. All right. So like you said, a bottle. And it's even on here. So pen, computer, bottle, spoon, desk, cup, television, chair, shoe, finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, comb. All right. And so those are just a few examples. And I'm going to post the definition for us in chat. So a countable noun is. Uh, can be counted as one or more. And so just to review, how do we usually uh, count nouns? We had a few examples um, a few minutes ago when we were doing nouns. Do you, re do you remember any of them? So how do we count nouns? What can we do in our sentences? Um, so to make them plural, so to make countable nouns plural, uh, we just add an S or uh, one of the rules. So if it's, you know, babies, adding the IES. So adding an S or uh, IES or ES. Okay. So just making it plural by adding ES. And then we saw in a few of the sentences making it countable. Um, so there were three men. Uh, so actually telling us how many, giving us an exact number. OK? Um, and that's how we make it countable. All right. Um, so now we're going to work with a few expressions for these countable nouns. All right. Um, and so I want us to think, before I give them to you, if we can come up with a few examples <clears throat> of expressions um, for countable nouns. Um, and so I'll give an example from what we already saw, which was few or a few. All right. So can we think of any others that we use? Any other expressions? Uh, some way. Some, yep. And so we're going to um, go over examples of any. All those. Uh, okay, some any. Some, any. Uh, a, a little. So a little. Tell me what's the difference between an abbreviation and an acronym? Ooh, so I think someone is watching Libby's class. So, one second. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's funny because Libby lives down the street from me. <laughs> so, all right. Um, the a n. Um, that's not making it countable. Um, it's not an expression to make it countable. Those are the direct articles, the a and an. Um, so we had a few good ones: some, any, few, um, many. We call that an abbreviation. 
Okay. Um, so, sorry, Amir, I don't know um, if you're watching my class and Libby's class, um, hopefully you can just choose one because um, I can hear her class. It's a little distracting. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay. Um, and then we have every. Okay. Sorry, like I said, I get kicked out of class once in a while. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and the last one I had was number of. The last example I was going to give. Number of and I don't think many went through. All right, so those are ways we can make nouns countable. All right, um, so would anyone uh, like to, uh, you know, just read our list but making the nouns countable? So, for example, saying a few pens and trying to use um, some of the different words we posted. Would anyone like to try it? Just practice speaking uh, to get us used to speaking English and work on pronunciation. Mm. Mm. Hello, DJ. I, I don't know exactly what, what can I do. Uh, what uh, okay. so I do? I'm reposting in chat. Do you see in chat? Um, I just posted a few, few, yes. many, few, few, some. Few. Okay, and then after that, I did pen, computer. So what I want you to do is um, make a sentence. Um, and why don't we make every person do this? So I have um, a few pens in my backpack. All right. So take just uh, maybe. A minute to come up with a sentence, and I'll start with Alessio, and we'll go to Amir, Arnaud, Frank, Jose, Manuel, and Samir. Okay, um, so you can use any combination of words here. All right, uh, just getting used to making a sentence. All right. uh, for example, uh, uh, I'll buy you some uh, flowers. It's correct. Yeah, I'll buy you some flowers. That's correct. Oop, and I forgot the you. Haha, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, teacher. What is the difference, the difference between a few or only a few? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, so a few. Um, I have a few pens in my backpack. Um, and then I have, um, when you say a uh, few, I have few pens in my backpack. Um, it means you don't have a lot of. So you have a small number. You have a small number of pens. Okay. Yeah, they have a few friends. So they have more than one friend. Okay, that's a great example. But if you say they have few friends, uh, it means they have no friends. <laughs> okay? Set of so, friends. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there, was, there was fewer people than yesterday. Uh, it's a little bit of a fragment, so just add a second part to that. So there was fewer people than yesterday in class at the mall, eating McDonald's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Um, is everyone ready to share some sentences? All right. And so, Alessio, you shared yours, but do you have another at all? You shared a couple, I think. Uh. It's OK. You already gave a great example. Um, and Arnaud has written a few. Would you just like to speak at all, or is your mic not working? So Arnaud Escola 
Huinka. I can't say it, but he gave um, some great examples in chat. Maybe his mic isn't working. Okay, so Frank, can you tell us your sentence? Uh, for example, uh, I, um, I, I lost every balloon that I kicked. I lost every balloon that I... <laughs> Every yeah. Balloon, for example, <laughs> that I keep. Okay. So uh, I lost balloon that I uh, had picked. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, so, Frank, do you have an example at all? Uh, yes. Um, okay. Great. I won many coins in the. In the roulette. Sorry, can you repeat? I won uh, many coins in the roulette. Okay, so I'm on. I won many coins in the race or in the game. Roulette. In roulette. Oh, in roulette. Yes. Actually, I'm ah roulette. I won many coins in roulette. Yeah. All right. So, what about Jose Asensio? Uh, yes. Uh, for example, uh, he has got some bottle of wine for us. He has. Got, can you repeat? He has got some bottle of wine for us. Okay. Um, so. I don't know about British English because I speak American, um, so I always uh, fix um, got. So he uh, has uh, some bottles of wine. Okay. Oh, for us. Yep. So he has some bottles of wine for us. Um, the British tend to use uh, got more in their. Uh, Speech, they ask questions, have you got, I have got. Um, in American, uh, we don't do that as often. So I always uh, just try to use the verb uh, to have. So, yeah. So uh, he has some bottles of wine for us. Perfect. All right. But I'm not sure about British English, so not sure about that one. All right. What about Manuel? Mm, for example, I have many money to spend it in whatever I want. Uh, can you repeat? I have? I have mm, many money to spend mm -hmm. to spend it in what I want. Okay. Um, yep. So, um, so money um, uh, it's countable. It's it's not countable. It's um, it's like water. So money is this idea that you have some money. So it'd be I have some money. Um, no, sorry. It would just be I have money uh, to spend on what I want. Um, it would be um, I have many bills. I have many dollar bills or euros. Uh. Euros to spend on what I want. So that's the way you can make it uh, countable because money is not a countable noun, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, you, you must compare it, the, the money in, in dollar. Yeah, so you can say, I have many dollar bills, I have many euros to spend on what I want um, because money, uh, money applies to uh, you have the the coins, and you have the bills, and you have checks, and you have the money in the bank, and you have a credit card. So money is very fluid. It's like air. You can't, you can put a number on money when you refer to the currency. Okay. So I have many dollar bills. You have many of a specific uh, kind of currency. I have many euros. I have a lot of euros. I have 
50 coins stacked, you know? It's that idea. All right. If that's a little clearer. All right, and so Alessio? Yeah, I washed many spoons yesterday at work. Yeah? Okay. What about Ricardo? Do you have a sentence at all for us? Okay. Um, Sorry? And Samir, so, oh, yep. No, it's okay. Do you have oh. a sentence at all for us? Uh, I just get in and I don't know what, what are you talking about. Okay. Um, so I just want you to use one of the words, well, two of the words from the list. And I'll repeat the list right here. Edit, copy. Right. So just to make um, a sentence using few, few, many, some, every, each. And then you can use pen, computer, spoon. Okay? Um, and so we have a few examples. Alessio above this said, I washed many spoons yesterday at work. Um, so we'll come back to you and give you a few minutes. What about Samir Suleiman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you I, have an example for us? I have some. Uh, I have some shoes, but I don't know what I mean. Uh, where for the what? But I don't know where what. What will I wear for the what? What I should wear? Sorry, I can't hear the last part. Uh, what I will wear, the shoes. Okay, I have some shoes. I have I have uh, many shoes, but I will not, I don't know what I will wear. Oh yeah, there we go. I have many shoes, but I don't know what to wear. Great, that's good. All right, and so Adriana, I hope you've been following along. Do you think you could make a sentence as well? Hi, hi, Lisa. I, I, I had a problem with, with my knee, but now I, I, I solve it. I think so. Okay, great. Um, um, uh, one sentence. Um, every every day there are there are more problems with with environment. Yeah. So every day there are more problems with the environment. Good. Just don't forget uh, the environment. All right. And Ricardo, did we give you enough time at all? Sorry? Uh, I think it was Ricardo. Um, could you make us a sentence at all? Sorry. To call me. All right. So we're going to non count nouns. All right. So uh, now we're going to move on to non count nouns. Okay. And can anyone tell me what those are? So what are they? Okay, so money. An example is money. All right, so a pretty simple definition. Uh, Non-countable nouns cannot be counted. Okay? Uh, they usually express a group or a type. Um, and that's what I was trying to get across, that money uh, is a group. Um, okay, before. Um, so these are some other examples uh, that we're going to use. All right. <clears throat> um, like I listed before, uh, so water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, soccer, sunshine. Um, and you'll notice a lot of times uh, non-countable nouns are food and liquid. Um, so a lot of the times we're referring to water, soda, juice, um, and they're non-countable. We talk about them in a group. All right. Um, okay. And so one of the rules about non-countable nouns is that generally um, we cannot uh, make them plural. All right. Um, so can anyone tell me what that means? That we cannot make them plural. What can we not do to these nouns?
Uh, so, Frank, sorry to call on you. See you're typing as well. Um, we make nouns plural by adding an S. So if we cannot make nouns plural, non-countable nouns plural, what should we not do to them? All right, so for non-countable nouns, we cannot uh, add s to them. All right, um, so when we were talking about bottles before and trying to make a bottle uh, plural, we just added s. Uh, we cannot do that uh, to money. Um, it's not proper to say monies. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so when we work with non-countable nouns, we use a definite article. And can anyone remind us what a definite article is? Okay, so Alessio used an example. Um, so give me a plate of pasta. Um, so articles are a and and the. Okay, um, so that's what we use uh, when we talk about these non-countable nouns. Um, so now I have a few examples, right, of these non-countable nouns. All right, so sugar is sweet. The sunshine is beautiful. I drink milk. He eats rice. We watch soccer together. The wood is burning. Okay. Uh, could, could I have some water? Could I have? Yeah, so we say that as well. Could we have some water? Uh, but what we should say is, uh, could I have a glass of water? So we're making it. There is, there is, there is, there, is there any rules when, you, when, when we, we use the letter A or A and N? What is the difference between mm -hmm. A and A N? Yep, um, I'm just explaining the first one. Okay, yeah. Um, so to address the first question, which was, um, may I have some water? Which is correct. Uh, just clarifying that that is the idea that you already have a glass of water, and so you want more water. Okay? So you want someone to pour you more water into your glass or bottle, usually. Okay? And then um, A is used uh, with uh, consonants. Consonants. So a plate of pasta. Um, so P is a consonant. Um, and asparagus. Right, so and an is used with vowels, so a uh, plus a consonant, an plus a vowel. So words that start with vowels, you use an. All right, and so we're going to see that. Um, um, when the nurse, so the, uh, mm -hmm. when the war before a. Uh, begin by the consonant. You 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 only say a, but if uh, yes. begin by a vocal, you say a n. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, oh, so, oh. do you think you could give an example at all, Manuel? Mm, uh, uh, I have a busy uh, a cycle cycle, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, an apple. For example. Mm -hmm. It's correct? Yeah, I just changed a little to. I had an apple for lunch. So it was a little different. So I have a bicycle. I had an apple for lunch. And we need uh, that N. Um, it's what we call. Um, crap, I only know the French for it. Um, what we're doing is we're meshing those sounds. So an apple, 
So in phonetics, we're pronouncing it A-N-A, so all together, an apple. Um, oh, yeah. So we need that N to join the two words together. All right. Um, because two vowels do not work uh, together. In English, you'll rarely see uh, two vowels. Um, and you'll never, ever see... Okay, I'll address that question. And we'll never see three consonants together. Um, so if, you, um, if you're trying to spell a word, and I'll just use soccer, for example. So soccer is spelled C-O-C-C-E-R. Uh, but you want to spell it with three C's. Uh, we almost never have uh, three consonants. So it's usually uh, one consonant vowel, followed by a vowel, or two consonants filed, followed by a vowel. Um, so that's our rule for spelling, if that's a little clearer as well. And that's why we also need the N, because we usually uh, don't have two vowels next to each other. So having the A and then apple, uh, that's two vowels, um, and we need to separate them. Separate them uh, by a consonant, which is why we have an instead. All right, and then um, to address the question, um, uh, Samir, are you referring to um, when? You said, I have got? I mean, uh, you said, you said uh, I have a bicycle. And another uh, sentence, you said, you said, uh, I have an apple. Why okay. you don't say, I have? Um, I was just, it could be, I have an apple for lunch today. Yeah. For lunch today. Um, but I had an apple. Uh, for lunch means I already ate it. I, had, I already you mean ate the, uh, in the past. <clears throat> yeah, so I just put it in the past um, to have two different sentences. So I have a bicycle means that you've had a bicycle, you have had a bicycle for five years. You bought it five years ago, you still have it, you ride it every day, you ride it once a week, you ride it once a month. But usually the life of an apple is a little shorter. Um, so I had an apple for lunch. I ate it for lunch. I ate the apple for lunch. You mean, you mean I had an apple for lunch? Uh, it is already ate the apple. Yeah. Um, so if you say, I have an apple, um, it, the sentence is a little incomplete. Um, so I have an apple to eat for lunch today. Um, okay. So you, you have to complete it because, yeah. So I was just giving a short example. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so now um, to make these uh, non-plural nouns uh, or non-countable nouns uh, plural, I'm using that lightly. Um, we use some of these words. All right, so I just posted them. All right. And it should start with, we ate some rice and milk. Okay? Um, so it's a non-countable quantity. You're not going to say, I ate 15,000 grains of rice with lunch, and I had uh, um, two ounces of milk. Like That's... It's very rare for us to say that. Um, so we ate some rice and milk. We ate some rice and beans. Food is usually used with some. Okay. okay. I hope to see some sunshine today. Um, can anyone explain why that is some as well? Can you? Yeah. Can you repeat, please? Yeah. So why is I hope to why is it I hope to see some sunshine today? Why isn't it I hope to see? Uh, I can't even quant quantify it. I hope to see five minutes of sunshine today, which also works, but. Um, 
sorry, quantifying. Mm -hmm. uh, um, sunshine is un uncountable. Yeah, unless for, for we're this saying reason, for the reason you you use some. Yeah, so it's it's very difficult. You wouldn't. I can't even think of how to say it um, in a way to quantify it. That would be wrong. Um, trying to think. No. Yeah, some sunshine, some sunshine. I would like to see the sun today, so using an article. Um, or five minutes of sunshine, in which case you're quantifying the minutes of sunshine you want to see. Um, mm -hmm. So you can quantify it in a different way. So I want to see five minutes of sunshine today. Um, so you can quantify the amount of minutes. So I want to see how many minutes? Five minutes of sunshine. All right. This meat is good. <clears throat> so what word do we use here uh, for meat? Um, so also um, we can use this for uncountable now. So this wine, this meat, this chicken. Mm. This rice, this pasta, you know, uh, even sometimes this day. Um, so an uncount, a non-countable noun. We're using this instead. Okay, is that okay? This or that? Be because okay. uh, in this case, wine and meat uh, are the subject of the the sentences. The sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, we can use uh, this or mm -hmm. yeah, this mm -hmm. or that. Yes. So uh, meat or wine or pasta, chicken, rice, they're the subject. Um, but you need to refer to what rice, what wine, what meat, this one, like on my plate, or that one on your plate. Um, because we usually don't use quantities, we don't tell people, I ate three pounds of chicken last night. Like, that, it doesn't make sense for us. Or three kilos, sorry, for the rest of the world. <laughs> um, I'm on a different system. I always forget that. All right. And so another example we have is uh, that wine is very old. All right. And do you see any traffic? on the road. Um, so what word did we use here? Uh, any traffic because uh, the sentence is uh, an interrogative sentence. So we can use uh, any. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. So did you see any traffic on the road? Did you see some traffic today? Um, so using any or some could work in this sentence. Uh, wine uh, is alcohol. <laughs> it's red or white. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, red wine, white wine, rose wine. All right. Um, and then, all right, so this is the last activity I have for us to do. And I'm just going to post the words for us. And so I want us uh, to choose all of the non-count nouns in the following list. All right, so can anyone tell us some of the nouns that we cannot uh, count? Count. So ones that we cannot count, non-countable nouns. Wine, mm -hmm. water, yes. milk. Mm -hmm. uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. Rice, I heard. Any um, others? There's two more. Wind. Wind. Um, watch. No. Boo? No. Stop. Close. Uh, the last one uh, yeah. is wood. Yeah. yeah. All right. So does anyone have questions why these are the non-countable nouns? And I'll post them here. 
answers. Okay. All right, so does anyone need me to explain why those are the non-countable nouns? Potato, countable or uncountable? Uh, it's countable because we can add ES to make it potatoes. Okay, and mm -hmm. student? And what word? Uh, students. Student. Um, so we can make that plural by adding an S and it will become it's students. Um, then we can if say you add the S, uh, he will, uh, it will be uh, plural. Mm -hmm. then, uh, so mean? there are five students in class today. And what was your other word that you asked? Potatoes. I ate three potatoes, three potatoes uh, for dinner last night. Okay? okay. So you can quantify them uh, with numbers. So you can actually count them. You can count the students in class. You can count the potatoes on your plate. Okay. Um, so we can't count wine, water, wind. How would you collect wind? Um, and we can collect water and wine. Um, and we, we do quantify them in the grocery store. So we can say we have uh, two liters of wine, but once again, we're counting the liters. We're not counting the actual wine itself. Does that make sense? So we're quantifying something else. We're quantifying liters. We're not quantifying the wine, if that's clear. Um, just like we have two bottles of wine uh, for dinner each night. So in this example, we're quantifying bottles. We have two, what? We have two bottles, yeah. and bottles is plural. All right. Um, so you guys did great today. I hope you enjoyed class.